iar oamenii de știință testează un dispozitiv care ar putea pune capăt perioadelor de secetă de oriunde din lume este vorba despre o tehnologie care extrage particulele de apă din aer. Cercetătorii au decis să facă testele în una dintre cele mai uscate zone din lume, Valea Morții din California. If you ever find yourself searching for water in the middle of Death Valley, you're probably in a lot of trouble. But for Zach Zheng and his colleagues from UC Berkeley, it was just part of the challenge. So then we decided to take the biggest challenge, which is go to the center of the park, the Furnace Creek, you know, the, 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 the most challenging part. And then, so we were very lucky. Lucky in part because they didn't arrive empty handed. The team set up an experimental device on the valley floor that you could describe as a portable water harvester. It looks something like a small telescope tilted at an angle, but it's designed to pull water right out of the air. In this case, the hottest, driest air they could find. You know, I, I was very excited, so I just stay there, even though it's super hot, so I just want to watch it. To understand his excitement, it helps to take a quick detour from the desert to the lab. That's where UC Berkeley professor Omar Yagi pioneered the water capturing ingredient at the heart of the device, a lab created material known as a MOF for metal organic framework. While it looks like a powder to the naked eye, put it under a sophisticated microscope and you'll see a chain of molecules. The metal ion and the organic are linked together to make the framework that is the MOF. He explains that the MOFs are extremely porous with a surface area roughly the size of a football field in just a small amount. So that's the space into which one can bind gases like hydrogen for hydrogen storage, carbon dioxide, carbon from the air, or in this case, water. But the question for Zach and his colleagues was whether the portable device would be efficient enough to condense water molecules from the hyper dry desert air. So in the baking sun, they watched and waited for the first tiny drops to appear. Until it finally just dropped down. And then it took about the next um, about uh, 60 seconds or so. And then so, so, so I saw the droplet is out. And I was like, oh, it works. With the latest results, the Berkeley team hopes the water harvester can impact populations in the most drought stricken corners of the planet, providing safe, clean and potentially life saving drinking water pulled from thin air.